This one's going to be on a command line torrent client uh, called Transmission uh, CLI, or they call it Transmission Daemon also. But this is the package, should be in your repositories. It comes with three different things, so, well, actually two, maybe three, uh, whatever you want to count it. But it comes with a daemon, comes with a command line interface, and you can connect it with uh, a web UI, so you can use your web browser to uh, control your torrents. So the reason why I like this is that it's very lightweight and you know that's what I like about it. Anyways, how would you use this here? So the first thing I'm gonna give you the man page here. Uh, transmission daemon. First thing you probably want to do is set up your um, your watch folder, right? So you're gonna do dash c after uh, transmission daemon, and uh, you only have to do this once, I believe. Uh, Unless you change to a different path later on, but you just do this for uh, you know one time, and it saves it to your configuration files. So what this will do is, let's say uh, you do dash c, and then you, you put in your download folder, and whenever you download a torrent file, it will just send it automatically to your uh, your torrent daemon, and it will automatically download basically, because some sites they still use the uh, torrents file, okay. Um, or if you want to do it like manually, you can always go into your um, configurations, right, and, and change that later on. Okay, so that's where your configuration is at. It's just a uh, dot config uh, transmission daemon, and in there there should be a file that you can you know edit or whatever. So that's that. So how would you use this here? So basically, all you got to do is make sure you run the daemon, um, and if you do transmission dash daemon, hit enter. And it's running. That's it. All right. Uh, and if you want to interact with it, you can go. What is that? Transmission remote, right? Dash L. This will list out uh, your torrents. Um, if you want to add something, let's say for example, we're gonna go add something here. So right here we have a Naruto. You can actually add the torrent file or the the was that the magnet links because. Uh, you know the magnet links are taking over now so you can always just copy the link here whatever link you want to use okay and all you gotta do is type in um, transmission dash remote dash a for add and I'm gonna put it in single quotes here right single quotes and then push enter and then you say successful or success here and let's say we list it out again transmission dash remote dash l and there you go this is uh, the torrent that just been added and it's downloading. Now, like I said, this one also has a uh, web interface. So all you gotta do is open your browser, whatever browser you're using, and connect to it. So you connect it locally. So this is the address here. Localhost, uh, was that, colon, 9091 transmission uh, slash web here, all right? Uh, so that's it. So that's this is the, the torrent that we're downloading here. Right, it's just uh, pictures or wallpapers. I mean, you can actually configure it from here if you don't. If you don't want to do like from uh, the config file, you can actually just click around, and uh, this is where you would you know check all your items and stuff like that. Your speed that you want to go. Um, what is this here? Now the reason why I like this one over um, I was at uh, R torrents because some people always tell me to use R torrent. The reason why I don't like rtorrent is they don't have a block list feature, okay? Uh, I know the block list is not like a 100% guarantee, but it's better than nothing for me, okay? So that's why I use the block list uh, from transmission uh, here. And, uh, you know, block out RA bitches and all that. So that's why I like uh, this program. Plus, rtorrent, you have to waste a lot of time configuring that thing too, okay? This one is much simpler in my opinion, and uh, it has more features and it has different interfaces um, that you can use too okay so you can do it from here if you want you want to control it from your web browser that's fine too otherwise uh, you can use it from the command line which is what we're going to focus on uh, for this video but like I said um, you know you can click whatever it is you can do from here you can click on this to get more information about the, the file that you're downloading once it loads it up I guess there you go there you go right click on it and then you can click around so that's how you would do that from here. You can do pause and you can actually add torrents from here if you want to, right? But uh, from the command line, um, you know, uh, this is what I usually do because I don't want to type out like the whole thing like transmission 
dash remote and then some other flag in here that that's i don't know that's a waste of a lot of time in my opinion so what i do is i have it in my uh zshrc or bash rc whatever you want to use so what is it here let me open it up first so this is what i have in here right so i have uh, a couple of functions so this one enable the alternative speeds sometimes i, I need to uh you know cap my bandwidth if i'm down with some other stuff so I can do alternative disable and enable it. By default, TSM is just to list out the files. And this one's to add, pause, stop, purge. Purge is to delete uh, both the torrent and the data. Uh, removing is just removing from the list. It doesn't actually delete the data. All right, and the information and the speed and all that. And this is to clear all the completed one. So let me show you uh, the functions that I have here, okay? So TSM is to list stuff out right um what else is there so if i want to pause this so i pause one right the id is one here and i'll pause it so if you do tsm again now it says stop right before it says up and down for downloading but now it says stop and so on and so forth if i want to add something let's say we add something else differently from uh, fedora here so let's say i want to copy this here um and I can download it. You know what? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll download this one here. TSM add, right? And we're going to say the torrent file. You can do magnet links like we did before. Doesn't matter. Say success here, right? Um, what is that here? TSM. So now it's downloading, to, uh, what is that? This Fedora one. And before I said, like, uh, I have a watch folder, right? So. I don't actually have to add it manually if I don't want to, and uh, I can just you know click on it. So let's say for for example we download uh, Fedora, I don't know 16 or something. So it's just gonna download the torrent. Now the torrent it downloads to my uh, download folder, and my download folder is my watch folder, so it automatically sends it back into my daemon already. So if I just list it out again, TSM, you see it just adds that one automatically, right? Fedora 16. I didn't have to do shit. It just I just had to download the torrent. And uh, it automatically does that. So that's uh, another one that you can do for setting up, uh, you know, your your uh, watch for, like I said in the beginning. Um, something else that we can do in here. So TSM. If you want to look at some information about it, so what was that? We do number one was Naruto, right? So this is uh, it shows you just like little information, like uh, the magnet links of it here. The hash, I don't know if you need that stuff here, but uh, whatever. All right, so that's basically what they shows you for the information here. And let's do this again here. TSM, if I want to resume, right, or I want to start this one again, because right now it's stopped. So I can go TSM start, and I just do one here for the ID. And now this one will, will start again. So I can do TSM. And right now it says idle, but it'll start downloading in a couple of uh, seconds, right? Anyways, that's that's really all it is for uh, how I would uh, set it up for the command line. And uh, I use that a lot. Like I said, there's other interfaces like uh, it was an curse interface or even a full GTK uh, GUI for it too. Uh, the good thing about that versus the, the regular uh, transmission GTK or transmission QT is that... Um, the interface is optional. The thing that's running in the background, the daemon, is very lightweight. It's actually way better than uh, those full-blown one. Okay. The only thing I hate about this program is that uh, when you're selecting files in here, let me give you an example, a, a visual here. So let's say, for example, this Naruto one here, right? If you know how you have like a, a torrent that has like a, maybe a folder and subfolders and all that, you can't really uncheck the first folder and then it will uncheck all the other ones so you can't really do that and it'll uncheck all these other ones that's the fucking annoying part okay you would have to go in here and manually check off all the ones that you don't want even though you you don't want the whole fucking folder right so that's the only thing i hate about this program um if you ever run into you know situations where you have to do this one but uh for most part you know i don't i don't run into like this situation a lot but once I do, it's just that it's very annoying to, you see, I have to select all these stupid files that I don't want. 
so that's it for the program basically and uh i'll give you the, the functions that i have if you want to do it that way otherwise you can just have to type it out manually yourself like transmission remote dash l which is kind of long in my opinion but uh if you just set it up like me like tsm right or tsm all these other ones that we have uh you can remove it let's say for example remove number three from the list and tsm again removes it anyways um that's the um the torrent client i've been using for a couple of months now like probably say like six months or something there or maybe five or six months i don't remember but yeah i love this one uh this is my torrent client of choice even though there's a lot of people that uh, says you know our torrent is better my opinion is not better but uh it's up to you all right that's it for this one